Okay, let's take a look at how to uh, do a cumulative. Uh, and the cumulative uh, could be done based upon your frequency or your relative frequency. Okay, so let me do a new script and say that. Okay, first we'll look at data in our program. D1, I'll bring in uh, some values. Uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5. Okay. And um, first off, let's look at our table. And go ahead and run that. So do an edit, run all. Okay, and we get these uh, these frequencies here. Then let's say the frequency is equal to that. Let's take a look at the cumulative sum of those frequencies. Edit, run all. Now, to understand how this works, is um, each line, and if I did it in uh, maybe the different format, it might be easier to see, but um, that's okay. Um, I wonder if I could do data.frame here. But how it works is you take the current frequency plus all the ones below it. Um, like here, this was 6, that's 6. Next one is 10. What it did is it took the 4 and it added the 1 below it. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Now the 15 right here. It took this 5 and added all the ones below it. 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 6 is 15. This 18. It took the uh, current uh, frequency and added all the ones before it. 3 plus 8, or 3 plus 5 is 8, uh, 12, 18. And then our last one, it takes us 2 and adds all the ones before. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus another 5 is 10, 14, 20. And that would show our cumulative uh, for our frequency. Okay. Now our relative frequency. Relative frequency is going to equal to your frequency divided by the sum of your frequency. Now let's print that. Relative frequency. Edit. Uh, run all. And um, let's see how many ones are there. There's six, six ones, six out of 20. Um, yeah, that'd be right. 30%. Uh, so that gives us our relative frequency. Now cumulative uh, relative frequency is going to equal to the cumulative sum of the relative frequency. And then let's print the value of cumulative frequency. Do an edit run all. Now what this does is it adds uh, the current um, relative frequency plus all the ones above it. So our first one is 30, it's still 30. Next one is 20, so it'll take this uh, 0.20 and add all the ones below it. 0.3 plus 0.2 is 0.5. This next one, it'll take this one, 0.25, and it'll add all the ones below it. 0.3 plus 0.2 is 0.5, plus 0.25 is 0.75 and so on. And that shows you the uh, cumulative relative frequency. And let's let's create one off of a, a CSV file. I might as well use, uh, actually, let me copy these numbers so we get the same result. Paste that in. Though it might have been easier just to type them over.
There we go. And, uh, you know, uh, um, I'll save that as a, another file. So I'll come here, change the save as type to all files. Test6.csv. Um, then click save. There is a program you can install called Notepad++, I think it is. Uh, it's a mod uh, modified version of Notepad that has a lot more features. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. There we go. So D2 is going to be, um, what is it, read.csv, uh, what did I call that, test6, six. test6.csv. Six I'll uh, build my frequency off the table for D2. Um, and then do a cumulative sum to the frequency. Then I'll um, do a relative frequency, build that. And that's frequency divided by the sum of frequency. And again, where, where it's beneficial to set it equal to a value like that is if you want to use it further on in your program. Relative frequency. Cumulative relative frequency. I should have just added copied it all, but cumulative sum of relative frequency. Cumulative relative frequency. Okay, so let's do an edit run all. And that matches this right here. So, um, but this is going against a CSV file. Now, again, if I had multiple items in the CSV file, I'd have to have multiple columns. Then I have to do my dollar sign, and this column is called numbers. That should not change it at all, even though we have one column. So I do an edit, run all, and it gives the same result. Okay, uh, that's a cumulative um, frequency, cumulative relative frequency.